Welcome to the Q&A vlog on nocturnal dialysis and buttonhole techniques. Thank you to everybody who sent in a question for me to answer. I've got them all here, so let's get started. What is nocturnal dialysis and is it hemo or PD? So you can get nocturnal dialysis in both in both of them. I do nocturnal hemodialysis. So what is it? It's between five and seven days a week for about eight hours each time with low pump speeds obviously overnight how did you get over needling yourself it was extremely difficult when i first went to the unit i'm in which is self-care dialysis unit in morriston swansea i made them change the paperwork so then I could not have to needle on myself but still come home. A few weeks later, once they had given me all the tools of you know training myself and the proper hygiene care, I figured out that I could needle myself and they were with me every step of the way as I needled myself and they believed in me which was the biggest help for me and they were so happy when I got that needle in it was it was a really good day for me so and it's, it is still hard when it comes to needing a new buttonhole or if my other buttonhole is playing up and I need a sharp I'm like to no not happening I'm not doing it myself can't do it you do it please so they take over the sharp needles for me i wouldn't touch that in the world but on the whole the type of one i do is so easy how easy or hard is it i'm taking this as a general question with dialysis itself for me it is extremely easy They've trained me so well, I can't fault them. And they're constantly saying, right, we've got this new, we've come in to train you. Do you need any more training? They're always there on the phone if I need them. If my machine breaks down, I know who to call. So they've given me absolute, they've given me all the tools to be able to do it so easily. And they're just amazing. So that's how easy it is. What is a buttonhole technique needling? So I used to have ladder technique, which is going up the arm all the time. The type I'm doing now is buttonhole. So it's a bit like your earring hole. Um, you're using a sharp needle for a few times once it's developed then they take the scab off each time and they twiddle a blunt needle into the same hole once it's developed you can get the blunt in there is no pain it's so much nicer and i can sleep with it in so it doesn't hurt i totally fell in love with it when I found out about it and I would never want to go back. It makes dialysis so much easier having this blunt needle twiddled in your arm that you don't even notice it. Um, how do you know where to put it? Well, with the training of your nurse who's established the buttonhole, they can say where they've, what direction it's in, how, is it deep, is it shallow, and they will be there when you put your first buttonhole needle in, up until you're confident enough to do it on your own. Um, so you'll always have a nurse that is with you that can tell you where it is, which is fantastic. You're not left on your own on that one. How do you sleep while being on? 
I still get my good days and bad days. It depends on if I'm feeling okay or not. But mainly I, I've got used to the noise of the machine and I've acclimatised myself to that. So on, on a whole, I sleep really, really well with the machine. And so do most of the people in the unit that I'm in. They say exactly the same. They've got used to the noise that the nights that they don't dialyse, because there's no noise in their room, they can't sleep very well, which is very true. The nights I don't, or the nights that I don't have dialysis, I'm like, oh, um, I need noise, I need to put my earphones in and listen to some music. So that's how we can deal with that side of it. But, like I said, you get used to it, you understand the noises, you can hear if the machine's going off so you understand everything with the machine what's the different speeds you can get and how do you know this is right for you so with my unit we just stick with one speed for nocturnal patients which is 150 i'm not sure about other units it might be slightly different they might be higher they might be lower can't see them being any lower to be honest but it can happen and how do I know this is right for me well it's not me making the decision on if it's right for me it's my unit they decide everything as well as getting me involved in the decision making as well so between my doctor my bloods the nurse and other factors it's all decided on that um what are the different machines you can get so in the unit i'm in we have gambro machines and fresenius machines i'm currently home on a fresenius machine from being on a gambro but i know there are loads and loads of different types of different dialysis machines one i think that i've definitely heard about is the next stage dialysis machines so it, it just depends on the company and what types are out there we've just stuck with the gambro and now the fresenius dialysis machines and i'm pretty sure there'll be new ones coming out every single year um does it take up a lot of room? Yes, it does. It takes up an awful lot of room. The corner that I've got in, in my room where the machine is, I can't use that corner. It is designated for my machine and the RO, which is next to it. As well, you've got to put into factors all the stock that you have. I've got it in a massive wardrobe, which is also in my room. Luckily, I can't see the stock. I know it's there, but you can't see it. Some people, they put a curtain around their machine or a, a throw around their machine so then they can't see it in the day. But it does take an awful lot of room. So you've got to be mindful of that if you want to do nocturnal dialysis. With the Gambro machines, they were big and blue and probably even bigger than the machine I've got now. And I hated it. It was in your face. I could see it. And it wasn't me. The new Fresenius machine I've got. It moulds in kind of with my room. Because it's it's kind of a cream colour. A light white colour. So it, it blends in with my, with my room. And it doesn't bother me. I don't put throws over it. I quite like seeing it there. Which is very strange i know but i've named my machine which is also very sad but i feel better with naming it it's it's my partner in crime um so i wouldn't cover freddy because that's his name for the life of me but most people do um what modifications are needed so the hospital will come out and they will assess your house 
to see if it is suitable for nocturnal dialysis and the machine then once they're happy and they've ordered the machine they will come in from the hospital there'll be sometimes the hospital technicians and there'll be a company guy who will bring the machine to you depending on who your hospital go with but beforehand you will have plumbing in to put all the appropriate drains in and filters that you will need i will get a vlog up of the what my setup is which is most likely what other setups are like i don't know but they will do everything for you electricians will come they'll put um electrical points in for your machine your ro and things like that sometimes they'll give you a few extra if they've taken any um they'll block up any which is in your underneath your filters because obviously you don't want to mix electric with water but it's all done by your hospital so you don't have to worry about it it'll maybe take a day to actually do everything but the people i had to do mine were fantastic they were very respectful of the house making sure that they had cleaned up after themselves so everything should should run smoothly um do you need a separate dedicated room or can you do it anywhere with nocturnal dialysis you're going to need it in your room you're going to need to have it right next to your bed so not right next to it but near your bed so then you can all see your lines can stretch um it depends some people who have it in the day they don't need a designated they, they have it in a designated place and they obviously have a room for their stock some people have it in their shed it, it all depends but obviously with nocturnal dialysis you will need it in your room so you do have a designated place it's not something that you can take with you so if i wanted to go on holiday i would have to go back to the two needles and four hourly dialysis and people i know from my unit which have gone away have said after a week of being away doing the dialysis on four hours and two needles they've just not felt well because we have such a good dialysis for so long and it's so gentle that it just makes us feel so much better so yeah with you, like i said you, you just can't move around with it very easily well you can't um anyway if you've got any questions that you would like me to answer either put them in the comments below or go to my facebook page which should be in the description and you can private message me there and i will surely answer them thank you again to everybody who has sent in a question for me to answer i hope i've answered them as best as i can with so little time that i've had today and i shall see you all next week for the next video bye <laughs>